I'll walk, walk you through with the carbon dioxide uh, detector along with the controller with some basic trigger like the audiovisual buzzer. So uh, the first instrument, instrument which we are seeing this is carbon dioxide detector. This has got a 4 to 20 milliamps output which can give output to this controller. We'll uh, further look onto this. This has got display option also which can be mounted directly to the wall for indication purpose. This has got four wire. We are using two wire for giving the power supply to this instrument and two wire for 4 to 20 analog output to this instrument which it will convert to digital. This instrument is having uh, capability of 0 to 10,000 ppm. Currently we have used 0 to 2,000 ppm for our application. This is the digital process controller which is having a program logic which can control any external instrument based on the values coming from the carbon dioxide transmitter. As you can see this is showing the current ppm level which is 665 something like that and we can set the control set points for controlling the external devices like alarm, buzzer, a door closer, door opener, exhaust fan or any other devices which it which can be uh, done through this. Now we can see that uh, we'll just try to simulate an alarm with the help of uh, manual simulation. I'll just try to simulate that putting carbon dioxide. It's currently set to 900 ppm. So we'll see that 900 ppm this Yes, so now we can see that it has crossed, we will just press the acknowledgement key. So we have seen that when it crossed 900 ppm, it has automatically triggered this audio visual buzzer. Now instead of this audio visual buzzer, you can trigger any device, any controller, any controlling device like your fan or door opener or anything or your exhaust. This has got the power supplies or the, um, th this power supply is basically mentioned on bottom of this uh, controller. You can see 4 to 20 inputs, relay 1, relay 2. So you can have two relays basically, one for low, one for high. And it can have a 4 to 20 milliamps retransmission and it could have a RS-485 communication which can be connected to any PLC or STADA. This is the back connection. This is a panel mounted instrument 96 by 96. Thanks for watching.